an exciting day here today at Spanish Town Hospital. We've been talking about it, we have exposed it, we have consulted on it, but today is the day we're breaking ground for the largest health infrastructure in the parish of St. Catherine, probably since independence. Transformational for the people of St. Catherine, six stories of building, operating theatres, new a and &E, ward space, and I could go on and on, courtesy of the Jamaican government, um, IDB, and the EU. So, a uh, big day here today. Stay tuned. Honourable Prime Minister will be here and many others for a, a lot of announcements and groundbreaking. Good night, Jamaica. Good night to the diaspora. Good night, everyone. I want to play back that video quickly so you can see what I'm about to address. An exciting day here today at Spanish Town Hospital. We've been talking about it, we have exposed it, we have consulted on it, but today is the day we're breaking ground for the largest health infrastructure in the parish of St. Catherine, probably since independence. Transformational for the people of St. Catherine, six stories of building, operating theatres, new a &E, ward space, and I could go on and on, courtesy of the Jamaican government, um, IDB, and the EU. So, uh, big day here today. Stay tuned. Honourable Prime Minister will be here and many others for a, a lot of announcements and groundbreaking. I don't know about you, Jamaica, but when I think about anything this government promises to do, I have to question it. We were told way back as far as 2016, 2017, that the Cornwall Regional Hospital would have been ready. We were told that it would have costed us an amount of dollar, 24 million Jamaican, and it turned out now to have cost us almost 2 billion Jamaican dollars. And the hospital is still not finished. Now, Jamaica, here they go again. Here they go again, Jamaica. Here they go again. This time they're in the parish of St. Catherine at the Spanish Town Hospital. All that we know that Spanish Town Hospital needs to be fixed. It's one of the worst hospital systems in the Caribbean. The wait time is deplorable. The conditions are horrendous. And the worst part of it, the service delivery and the customer service is always poor. To know here that there's going to be a big, grand hospital for Spanish Town, we must commend. Let us clap that there's a new hospital coming in town. But I want to ask tonight, what is the timeline for that hospital? Is it two years, three years, four years, five years, six years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years? Because if you have a project overrun from 2016 to 2023 and Cornwall Regional Hospital is still not yet finished. And every minute, every month, every second, another dollar, another bill is being added to Cornwall Regional Hospital. Are we going to stick within the time frame, the statute, and the budget for Spanish Town Hospital? Or will there be several project overruns? Will there be nepotism and cronyism aligned to this project? Will contracts be given to friends, cronies, and companies? That's a question that we must ask. And that's a question we must answer. There's too many big ribbon cuttings in this country. And behind the ribbon cutting, no work has been done. I don't know about you, Jamaica, but I cannot settle for another big infrastructure project and it's going to take me another decade for it to be finished. Too long we have heard the cry of Mobe, where we were told that we're going to have a children's hospital. To date, we have not seen that children's hospital. We were told that Cornwall Regional Hospital will be finished in a particular time frame. It is still not yet finished. And now we are now being told of Spanish Town Hospital. Another project overrun, Christopher. Another project being delayed, Christopher. Another, another project will have nepotism, cronyism, and corruption applied to it, Christopher. We want to know who is the contractor. Who is the contractor for this hospital? Who is going to be contracted to do it? Is it one of your friends, Christopher? Who was contracted to build this hospital? I get to understand that IDB has financed this hospital. But even though the Inter-American Inter Development Bank has gone to assist in financing this hospital, the question must be asked tonight, who is the contractor? Call the contractor. We need to hear from the contractor tonight. What is the timeline for this project to be done? 
Because it cannot be business as usual. Poor people money cannot go in Project Overruns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. And it's as business as usual. I don't know about you, Jamaica. But tonight, I set a rat trap for them. And I'm going to say to them tonight, set a rat trap, set a rat trap. 